Hey guys, it's Morgan with The Life and Crafting, and today I have an amazing video planned with DIYs with items found at my local thrift store. I've been thrifting for a few years and you never know what you can find. I've found some things from TJ Maxx Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, and even Pottery Barn right at my local Goodwill. While you may not find these exact items at your store, I hope it gives you some inspiration. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now let's get to crafting. My first DIY uses this Hobby Lobby sign I picked up at Goodwill for $5. Before I started painting, I'm going to add this catch protecting sheet on my craft table. These sheets are absolutely amazing. They are easy to apply, don't leave a sticky residue, and may clean up a breeze. I don't have to worry about getting paint on my craft table or cleaning up after a project. They come in a few different sizes to match what you're working on, and I'll add a link in the description to their website. I'm going to start by painting the frame in about a half an inch onto the picture navy blue. I'm going to place some scrapbook paper where the text is, but it is not large enough to cover the entire thing, so I'm extending that paint a little bit. I thought this piece would be perfect to display travel photos and adventure pictures. While it's drying, I'm going to work on the embellishments for the piece. The Dollar Tree cork sheets are awesome for DIYing. They add great texture and depth to projects and are thin enough to cut without any problems. To make sure that everything lines up correctly, I made a stencil with scrapbook paper and I'm going to trace and cut. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know I'm a big fan of these Dollar Tree craft clamps and definitely recommend picking some up if you haven't already. I'm going to be using heat transfer vinyl on the cork sheet and I cut out this design with my Cricut. HTV works really well on cork and I think that it adds a unique look. HTV works really well on cork and I think it has a super unique look. I'm using the Cricut mini press today and I think it works really well for this. I applied a little bit of pressure and I was waiting until I could see the letters sort of detach from the transfer sheet. Now it's time to assemble. I'm using a thin layer of Mod Podge to attach the scrapbook paper to the picture. I picked up the scrapbook paper at Hobby Lobby and I really loved the colors. I think they have some of the best scrapbook paper selection out of any other craft stores and they are usually under 40 cents per sheet. Next, I'm going to attach the cork sheet. This is really easy as it already has an adhesive back, so all you need to do is just tear off that sheet and it's already sticky. You don't need any additional glue or tape. I 
I got these little clips at Dollar Tree and found them in the office supply section. I spray painted them gold to match the theme and remove the push pin back. Just attach the piece with hot glue and it's good to go. Check out the finished product. Next up, I'm making a pet theme welcome decor with this lattice sign I picked up at Goodwill for $4. To start, I put on some painter's tape around the frame so I could paint the inside white without worrying about damaging the piece. I ended up using about three coats of paint in order to completely cover the text. Once it's dry, I'm going to attach my decal I cut with my Cricut. The script Welcome font is from Defont and it's fittingly called Farmhouse and the typewriter font I used is available in Cricut Design Space. What farmhouse DIY would be complete without a little buffalo check and eucalyptus? I got a ton of buffalo check ribbon in a recent Michaels grab bag. I think I got around four different large spools of white and red buffalo check ribbon. I'll add a link to that video in the description for you to check out my other grab bag finds. I'm making a bow with the ribbon and place it on top with these faux eucalyptus floral I picked up from Walmart. Dollar Tree has eucalyptus floral, but I really like the ones from Walmart a lot better. One of my favorite recent Dollar Tree purchases is actually their floral wire. It's great for securing floral together and attaching it to DIYs. For $1, it's definitely a great addition to your craft stash. I used a combination of the floral wire and hot glue to secure this to the frame. and I absolutely love how this piece turned out. My next DIY is the Glam Trinket Tray using this silver piece I picked up from Goodwill for $6. I'm spray painting the silver portion gold to bring on the glam. While it's drying, I'm going to add a customization with etching cream to the mirror. Etching cream not only works on glass, but also mirrors. I'll add a link to my full tutorial on how to etch glass in the description. I love using Dollar Tree Magic Cover for stencils. You can find this in the houseware selection at Dollar Tree. Magic Cover works really well for etching and even stencils for painting. I like using q-tips for etching cream so I don't have to worry about cleaning up brushes or ruining some of my favorite brushes. The directions on the bottle say to leave the cream on for a few minutes but I find it works best if you let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. After about 15 minutes it's time to remove the etching cream. I washed it off in the sink and used the Cricut reading tool to remove the stencil. This tray was easy to assemble and disassemble. There were legs on the back so I could remove the mirror part, which was one of the reasons I picked it up. Having items that are simple to take apart and put back together is important when flipping thrift store finds.
check out the finished product. My next project uses this tag sign I picked up from Goodwill for $6. Before I started painting it, I'm going to add another catch sheet to my craft table. I'm painting this sign white and took about three coats of apple barrel paint to get that nice solid white. While it's drying, I'm making another bow with this buffalo check ribbon. I'm starting out by making a small loop with the ribbon and twisting it in the center. Then I take the end and make another loop. I repeat this process six times to get a nice full bow. To secure it together, I'm using the Dollar Tree floral wire. I told you this stuff comes in handy. Now that the board is dry, it's time to decorate. I grabbed this floral from Joann's a few months ago and I'm finally glad to get it out of my stash. I removed the stems to create two different bundles and tied it together with floral wire. Then I hot glued the bundles to the board. These larger craft clamps from Dollar Tree work really well securing everything while the hot glue dries. I'm also using hot glue to attach the bow to this piece. These lemons are a Dollar Tree find from a few months ago. I've had them in my stash waiting for the perfect piece and this is it. They come in a pack of three for $1, which is a steal compared to craft stores. I originally planned on stenciling the text and image on this piece, but that was an epic fail. The stencil and transfer tape pulled up the paint, so I'm on to plan B. I repainted it and let it dry overnight. I didn't want to test my luck with painting and stenciling again, so I recut everything in vinyl.
That worked really well and I didn't have any issues with the paint coming off. With the small issue aside, I'm really happy with the end result. Goodwill always seems to have a great selection of baskets at an even better price. My last DIY uses one of these basket finds to make a farmhouse floral display. I spray painted this basket white. Once a spray paint is completely dry, I'm going to dry brush on some black paint. When dry brushing, remember that less is definitely more. The cat's protective sheets work really well to get the excess paint off without ruining your table. After the piece is dry, I'm going to add some of that buffalo check ribbon from Michaels. This floral is some of my favorite from Dollar Tree. I usually see it at the start. This floral is some of my favorite from Dollar Tree. I usually start seeing them in stores around March and always grab a few bunches. You can easily change out the floral in this to match your year round decor. Check out the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this video on five thrift store DIYs. I'm Morgan with The Life and Crafting. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.